What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Farm Simulator 2017, baby. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Just hanging out here in the American Outback. It's been a minute. I was having a bunch of map issues when it comes to this particular map. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it seems like no matter where I roamed on here, it would go from a normal... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, where I would start out 60 frames per second, but then immediately, the second I would hop into a truck, tractor, didn't matter, tractor, matter, hey, you know what, I got bars, um, it would immediately dip to like 30, to like 20, and then stay there throughout the entire recording, and I didn't know what was going on, so, um, I noticed that with the big bud, Big Bud causes a bunch of lag, man. The Big Bud causes me, on this map, a bunch of lag. I don't care if it's trip tires or not, because those trip tires, <laughs> they are staying, my friends. Because we go big here in Texas, baby. We go big or go home, baby. Woo! So that's fine. But I noticed, if you notice, uh, there's a green Mack truck back there. I'll give you the skinny. Let you know what's happening, hot stuff. When it comes to why we haven't done American Out back in quite some time. About a week. It's been a week. Let's go ahead, we'll unfold you. And of course we're gonna drop soybeans in here because this farm and the other farm are soybeans. I'm gonna I'm gonna combine these two fields. It's just giving me I just got everything back working the way it should be working. <laughs> baby steps. We gotta crawl before you walk, baby. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Ready set. You are all unfolded. <laughs> So, all right, you're all set. That's okay. I'm just gonna waltz through you. Is that all right? Good, good, good. So, we were having a couple issues. Uh, one was that Mack truck. The Mack truck it, uh, basically was causing a bunch of the lag. Was some really nifty looking mods, and then some really crappy looking mods. But both those mods were hot garbage, and uh, they were causing the entire server—not the entire server, but the entire map—to lag out. And uh, one was that Mack truck. Now the Mack truck that we had, we, it was basically like a quick replacement because the uh, first Mack truck that we had uh, apparently was a stolen mod. And I was like, well, that's not cool. So I got rid of it, and we got something that was uh, like on, next on the Mod Hub list of Mack trucks. And I'm like, that'll work. And for a second, it did kind of work, and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, we can kind of live with this for the time being. Kind of play it off like it's a, like it looked cool, but it did not look cool. It was kind of a busted mod. It wasn't really refined, and in the long run, when I got rid of it, frames perked back up to about 45 to 50. So I'm like, okay, you know, small steps to try and figure out a big problem. But the other problem that we were having was on our Ford dump truck that sure did look pretty, but dang, every time I would get into that thing, it would drop my frames to like 20 again. So I got rid of that, and now we're pretty much through 60 frames, and we, we, we stay between uh, 55 frames and 60 frames, depending on the area, and the things like moo cows and bales, that's going to cause a little bit of lag no matter what, and I can't, you know what, I can't stop that. And you know what, I'm fine with that. But the issue has been cleared up, and we're back here in American Alpha. So what do I do after I get rid of a bunch of uh, get rid of a, a bunch of mods? We're gonna bring in some new ones. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 see like these, and I understand the conveyor belts as well. I was checking those out. Those will always give lag no matter what because I have a ton of conveyor belts over there. I was made well aware of that, and I was trying to. I was really hoping to just keep that going. I was like, hey man. If anything, can we just keep this? Yeah, if anything, can we just keep the uh, can we just keep that going over there for the time being? And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, we can keep that going," but it's fine now. It's fine. Yeah, like once we go over to that area, it goes down to like 60 frames per second, no problem, no problems whatsoever over there. That'll cause a bunch of lag. So. We may have to move our grass field someplace else, but we have this big old grass field over here near to, near the sheep farm, and that should do just fine too. But we're gonna drop some new mods in here. I'm gonna drop a mod. Oh, 
That's pretty nifty. It's brand new. It's on the mod hub. And it is something that can make pallets pretty much out of anything. Manure. Fertilizer. I believe you can even make your own seeds. And I believe it has an auto-loading function as well. We've got to plow this field. Also, because I was off camera, I was technically I was on camera, and I was making a whole bunch of uh, moves, if you will, as one does when you're a wealthy businessman. Got to make some moves, baby. Um, I was recording a bunch of episodes, so um, I bought a bunch of fields. And then it turns out that the uh, episodes I had to scrap because they were hot garbage. So, as opposed to any other video I put out. Now, we have field number three, field number six, and field number long ways seven over here. And we also have replaced our green John Deere with the di another Diesel Designs edition because we have a lot of fields over here to try and keep up time. Now, I'm going to get another one, another harvester over here because they can maintain these three fields. But I'm thinking about dropping some stuff over in here, though. I want to try and... Uh, keep all the stuff away from this section <laughs> from this area as much as I possibly can because that's the that's where a, a hot lag spike will hit and it's gonna hit forever forever and ever I give you my heart and I will always love you now over here is where our sheep farm is so this entire grass field yeah, that one should suffice plus we have this other uh, grass field right over here uh, we can't really do too much with that I don't think I think there's actually filled in with stuff but enough about me. So this is the reason why uh, uh, no American Outback. Just trying to fix some stuff. It happens. It happens. Also, I have a sprayer. Got a new Holland spray. Right. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to fold this up. And we're going to finish on the fam over here. On the field. Because it's not fully seeded up yet. Don't have the full amount of seeds. We have to lay the seed. After we do the deed, we'll lay the seed. Gross, gross. Everything about what you're saying is gross. I'm aware. I'm aware. Watch out there, train tracks. Albatross. Got to spread them wide. Far and wide, as far as the eye can see. Let's go ahead and cover you up. The, excuse me, your, your hole is visible. Let's go ahead and drop you down. And ready, set, B. So I'm just going to finish this off right here. Don't worry. We'll get our seeds going. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Ha, ha, boom. Yeah, man, I was all bummed out about American Outback not kind of working for a little bit. I was like, oh, no, it's a, it's a repeat of Rattlesnake Valley. Oh, no, nothing works, but everything works. I just have too much junk, like too much garbage, too much hot hot garbage and uh, so yeah so if worse comes to worse we can get rid of the conveyor system that does cause a huge amount of lag because we have a uh, we have the five hemp farms over there as well as all the conveyors plus we have the mixing station so we just have a whole team of stuff there that is just causing chaos chaos on the streets Alrighty, so we got that going on for us, and we have one patch all the way at the very end here that we ran out of seeds to harvest. So let's finish that up here real quick, and we'll get into the mod of the day. Very excited. It's interesting. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn some things. Should be fun. Should be. Should be. Should be. Come on down for the last strip of the field, yeah. Uh -huh -huh. And the reason why I don't want to get rid of those conveyor belts is because it's just making us so much money. Be a little greedy. Be a little greedy with my monies. And I don't want to have to load all of the manure into the, those five areas. I could probably just put like one or I could put like one conveyor belt per area, so that way it'll just shoot it in there if I just drop it in. I just just I just drop some manure in next to it. I mean, there's ways around it. I'm just being a little I'm being a little selfish, you know. 
And you know what? That's my choice. Okay. Okay. That's my choice. All right. Don't be haters. Okay. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. So we'll load that up. And uh, if it gets to be too much all the time, then I'll just get rid of the conveyor belt system. It was a good idea for the time being. I was like, oh man, this is going to be awesome. And in the end, sometimes things just aren't awesome. Not everything is awesome. Lego movie... Lego movie may have you confused. But not everything is awesome. So, there's our new Holland. You'll be getting to work soon here. Truck. How you doing that, truck? Oh, our, uh... Right. Harvester over there. Hold on here. Hold on here, Tyke. Can I just grab this, please? Thank you. God, man, that is so annoying how it doesn't get that one area, even though I've... I've, I've Plan it out. I'll try to get everything rough and ready over here. Two and a half. Two and a half. There's two and a half. And then we usually mess around right here. There we go. Alright. I see over here, is, especially with all these bales over here, forget about it. The lag is real. So, let's, let's, call, let's skip out of here. Where the frames, they are not a frame. But in the end, we'll figure it out, my dear. So I'm going to head on over to the stove. We're going to pick up our new mod. And we're going to try and figure out a place to place it. Now, place to place it. Yeah, yeah you heard me. We have to place it down. Help her see is completed a task. Help her see, help her see, yay. Watch out there, truck. I own this town. Boom. Ha boom. Alright. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh, that's our, our field number three. So we may have to plow field number six. A oh, lot. Wow. Six. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sorry, I go off. So we may have to uh, cultivate that. But no matter. Baby, we're back. And you can blame it all. You can blame it all on me. I'm the one that threw them all down. So, I do have a feeling that those... Now that I'm kind of like talking about it, I have a feeling that those conveyor belts are just going to cause a bunch of issues. Especially since we want... I, I have, a, I have a, some big plans for American Outback here. Not just making fields, but to uh, increase the animal population. That's going to be all centered in that one area. We've got pigs and cows at the same time. Which is... Oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Spot. Sorry, man. Mr. Turn. Mr. Turn. It happens. It happens when you're not paying attention. Because I want to put some more, uh, some more different things and um, and molds and things like that on here. And just gotta watch yourself when it comes to uh, garbage mods, which I download uh, from time to time. Hey there. Hey truck. Turn signals. Safety first. Safety first. Then teamwork. Except for you, buddy. I'm turning left. On, I'm turning left in front of you, man. Nothing you can do or say about it. If you got problems? Write me a letter. Write a letter. Who does that anymore? Uh, that's what I want you to do. I want you to go back to 1998. Beautiful. All right. So, in the miscellaneous section. Uh, links also in the description down below. We have the Flygo Pallet Filling System. Now, this can fill up pallets full of potatoes, uh, soybeans apparently, manure, grass, fertilizer, and seeds. I'm not quite sure. And milk. We can, we can carton up milk? Really? Interesting, my friends. Good, good. So, $54,000. You can make it any color you want. We're going to keep it in the style of which we choose, which is going to be green. Standard wheels, agarrar wheels, you know, why not? White decals, red decals. White decals, red decals. White decals, red decals, white decals. Purchase. If I put red with it, it would just look like it's a Christmas tree. Like it's Christmas stout. Now, also, with the same mod, you just throw them in your mod folder, it gives you a placeable here, which opens up an area for a pallet selling point. And this will take all the pallets, wool pallets, anything. Doesn't matter. So you actually have a second sell point when it comes to wool. 
That's kind of nifty and interesting all at the same time. Uh, so that means we gotta keep on loading up them sheep, babe. Um, but yep, this is just a flat area. Nothing crazy. Find a place for it, pop it down, and then you can sell your pallets right there. We'll get to that in a second. First, let's show off this John right here. Let's hop on over and say hi once again. Hello, Flagger. Please go, Flagger. Let's go ahead and we'll link this up, Buttercup. But will this link up? Yes, delicious. So, um, yes. So you have to get out of it. And then we got our pallet right here. So e enters into it. Oh, okay. So there we are. We open up the panel, and then we can toggle anything and everything. Basically, if you uh, load in some grass, you load in poop, it will then make a pallet for you to then you can turn on the flagle. Please detach first the tractor. Oh, so we got to detach the tractor. Right. Detach the tractor, and now it's on. Sellable, sellable thing. All right, so we'll enter into it. We'll turn on the flagel, and then we can enable automatic pallet crusher, automatic pallet creation. So you drop all whatever you need in there, and then the, the pallets will pop out and then slide out. Oh, let's see what this does to disable automatic. Pull the pallet pusher out. There we go. And that'll push out the pallets. And then another one can be created. Fun. All right, so let's go check it out. Now, I believe if you get things close enough, like say if you have a big grass pile, this will just auto load it into the, uh, the grass pile because it has that, uh, it's got a little cultivator right there, a little gatherer at the bottom there. So we're going to take this over to our poop pile for our moo cows and see how it do. And we also have a, uh, we've also got a conveyor belt there too. So like I said, I think the conveyor belts are going to have to bounce out. They're going to have to peace out like shot, baby. They're going to have to go. Sometimes, some things, hey man, some things, some, some things just, just got to go. The gats to go. But I do like how that pallet sell point has uh, an extra sell point for wool. So it gives us an extra selection. It gives us more choices. And sometimes more choices is good. A lot of times more choices can be bad. But most of the times, more choices is many much more gooder. Many much. Many much more gooder. Many much. It's fantastic. So. Heading back. Driving along. In a golden voucher. Gonna load up some pallets of poop. Ba -bow, ba -bow, pallets of poop. Ba -bow. I'll tell you what. Tell you, man. We gotta make a song. We gotta make a single. We gotta cut it. Drop it on iTunes. We could be rich and famous. But Diesel, you have over 100,000 subscribers. You're kind of famous. Shh. Shh. Don't ever say that out loud. Never say that out loud. The YouTube police will, will hear that. And they'll be like, this guy's getting way too popular. Who does he think he is? And I'll be like, Diesel Designs, I'll tell you what. Alright, so I have a feeling that this stuff's going to have to b -b 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 bounce. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and we'll just pull this out. We're pulling it out. My pullout game is strong. Gross. Alright. Now we're going to have to find a way to place to load this stuff up or we just pull over to the side here for the time being which is exactly what I'm doing okay 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 fantastic fantastic alrighty so if we take this Just for demonstration purposes. 
Because I want to see. Oh, we got to step in the poop. Ew. Ew. What a stinky job. Alright. So. Let's see here. Let's turn on the flagel. And automatically it's loading poop in there. It's filling up the poop. It's processing it. It's gathering it. We're going to... It's going to drop a full load. Gross. Gross. Now we'll fill it all the way to the tippy top, or as much as we can, which I'm pretty sure we have. We will have no problems doing. But I have a feeling that with the pallets of poop, the same thing like most of the pallets, 4,000, will be what it fills it up with. And then if we make enough of it, we'll just grab our auto loader, pick it up, and drop it off at the cell point. And boom, we're selling poop. We're selling poop without having to get a poop, uh, a poop wagon. Yeah, that's a technical term for it. I'll ask this. But yeah, say like you have a big thing of grass, but I think it also makes pallets of seeds. I have to look into that. But I'm not sure. I am not sure. I like the animation of how the guy, you enter, and you enter in and you don't like enter into the vehicle. It just shows the guy at the panel. I like that. It has it adds a sense of realism for all you Daggerwind fans. Because realism is key. Or if you're like me, I just need to get the job done as fast as I can. Please. I am a wealthy businessman. I don't have time for this. I don't have time. Alright, so let's go ahead and enable automatic pallet pusher. Alright, so enable pallet creation. Boom! And a pallet of poop is made. And then we can enable the automatic pallet pusher. Which does nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll push that pallet out. Boom. And we are just lining up pallets of poop, silage, like literally, literally bags of poop. Anybody got a lighter? Anybody have a neighbor they don't like? Let's just light this, let's light this piece on fire and we'll just set it on their front porch. Imagine how long it would take them to put it out, if they even do it, apply to set, uh, set their house on fire. You know what? It's probably not a good idea. We should probably just, uh, we should probably not do that. That sounds like a bad, bad idea. Or the best idea that I've come up with in quite some time. Oh, this is pretty wild, man. Now, let me just see here. Oh, hold on, huh? So enable automatic pallet pusher. I'm going to enable that. So let's see what it does. It should automatically do it, correct? Automatic pallet pusher, let's go. Nope, doesn't like it. Fine. We'll just do it manually. <laughs> Screw it. Think you're bad? You ain't bad. You ain't nothing, man. Oh, yeah. Boom. Do it for the thumbnail. Bang. Shabanga bang. What a wonderful little mod. And we are just <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've never seen poop stack so, st stack so low. I've never seen a piece of crap stack so high. Where are you from, boy? Texas, sir. Holy crap. <laughs> For those of you who are over the age of uh, 17, 16, 17, Full Metal Jacket, check it out. It is a classic. Now, we're definitely going to have to hold hold up. Yep, we're pushing it forward there. The poop's gone bad. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll grab our... Hey, hey, let's grab our truck here. Let's leave it there. Turn around. And we'll pick up our trailer. Our auto-loading trailer. 
And we'll go pick it up and we'll find we'll try to find a spot to load the pallets. I think we should just go ahead and just lay the pallet, the new pallet cell point on the road that already has our um our silo. So that way we already have a nice little strip right there that we can just do whatever we please. And it's nice and free. Got a good space for it. Hey now. Alright. Oh, sorry, truck. Pardon me. I got I got business to attend to over here. Got a lot of crap to deal with, like literally, <laughs> like like literally. I am just filled to the brim today with crap to do. Oh, 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 that's See right here on this, this is a nice little area past that uh, the uh, uh, I was gonna say silage point, silo point. That little st 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 stutter, 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 stutter. All right, so let's go ahead and put on our stuff again, my friend. Now, I wonder if the square bales, is that going to do it? We load up just the square bales, or does this work as pallets? It doesn't. Okay, so I just think it's going to be straight up pallets. Boom. Nice. Now, of course, this will also work if you just... I think it has a silage, like a silage fork. If you have a pallet fork, um, that could be it. Or if you just have a uh, pitch fork for, say, like grass bales and straw, that'll work as well. Now, if you have the autoloader trailer right here, come on now. Come on, bruh. Can we stack it right next to this? I wonder if we can fill it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. Um, hey. 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 Oh my goodness. Can we just disable pallet creation? Let's pull the pallet back. All the way back. Push it back. Push it back. Shut your face. Thank you. Goodness. Whoo. All right. It's gonna create those pallets for us. I think. It seems like it's 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 wanting to rotate. Let's see here. Uh, disable. Enable. Now what? Oh, is this too close, or what's happening here? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hut. Just fine. Just fine. What if we just, uh, I don't know, just move this over here? Now what? All right, so let's turn it on. Hmm. So that'll push it out. Right. Got that. And then we'll disable pallet creation. Got a lot of trees going on there. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't seem like it wants to kick back into gear. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so I'll tell you what. We'll disable this. And make sure that the pallet... Uh, let's pull all the way back here. Alright. We'll turn off the flagel. Flagel flagel. Flagel flagel. And we'll move this away because it seems like I, I moved this closer to it. And it's like, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. But I want to get a whole... I want to get a whole trailer load. Like, literally. I want to get a load on my trailer. Gross. Uh, let's see. Alright. Enable. 
Yeah, does not like it. What's going on here? Hmm. Okay, so I enabled the automatic pallet crusher, and now it's doing that. Uh, something's a little funky over here, man. Something's a little funky of an indulge. I don't know quite what it is. But that's super duper annoying. Alright, okay. Maybe we just need to reset it by linking it up. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's maneuver it. Let's maneuver into a new place. It's time to get a new place, my friend. Gonna load up some poop, my friends. Uh, let's see here. It's probably not the best place to park it, but whatever. I'm kind of just trying to reset it, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're really going to wash this joint. We are going to wash you, girl. We got to wash them tires. There's all kinds of dung all over it, man. All right, B. Okay. Yeah, man. There's a lot of poop in there, but it ain't, it's not making anything. That's so, it's so weird. It worked for a little bit. Kind of bugged out. I'll tell you what. Give me one second. I'm going to save this world, and I will be right back. Okay, so... Hop back in, just kind of reset everything here real quick. Now, if we turn everything on here, and we enable it, palette creation. Boom, all right, and we're back in business. We are back in business, folks. You just gotta, you just can't hop off of it. You can't hop off of it while it's in mid-creation, apparently. Which is all right, I suppose. I suppose. Someone's got a case of the supposes, but we still have to manually do this. Which is a bummer. That's a real bummer, bro. That's a bummer. Now, one, two, three, four. We need about five more of these joints here real quick. So, one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pull it back. Just pull it back, bro. Pull it back, bro. I know you were about to b -b -b bust. Just hold back. All right. Now let's disable that. We'll pull this back here, and we'll see if we can turn off the flegel flagel. I just want to see if we can enter it again. If it'll turn back on and start making pallets. It will. Okay, so we have to just turn it off before we exit out of it. Otherwise, it could cause a bit of problems. That's doable. Now, the real question is... How much is this stuff going to sell for? How much is this crap going to sell for? Hey, over here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll hop into the placeables, placeables, and we'll place a sell point, pallet selling point, all within the same mod over here next to where we have our. Let's see if we can place it here, though, which we may not be able to do, which is lame. Lame. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, doesn't that just put a ruffle in my feathers? I tell you what. Um. It's so silly. You can't put it in the middle of the road. But uh, I can put it right there. We can put it right there, but that's kind of it's kind of funky. Funky, funky. Uh. Um. Hmm. Well, now. I mean, I don't see why we can't put it in, in the farm here. Let's give it a nice little area, though. Nice little area. Kind of. 
sell here. I'll tell you what, we'll put it right there next to where we would fill up for our trailer. Yeah. $500? Well worth it. All right. So first we got to load this joint up. Boom, 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 what we got? Oh, we can put another one. Hold, hold up. Hey, let's get a full trailer up right here. We gon' get after it. Hashtag get after it. B. Boom. And then we'll disable this. We'll push this out. It's for pushers. Beautiful. Let's drop that in there. And then we will turn off the Flegel Flagel. Nice. Now, I wonder if this can stack high. Hold on. We're gonna do one more. He's gonna do one more! He's gonna do one more. All right. Turn it off. Because if it takes both of these and it stacks, well, then we just got ourselves a nice new thing to do here real quick. But if it works like any other pallet, it should just be one level, one tier. But hey, man, you never know sometimes. Sometimes it could be a... Yep, only one tier. That's fine. So let's go ahead. We'll back this up, Buttercup. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to get too close to those conveyor belts. Well, not these conveyor belts. I don't care about. I don't care about these conveyor belts. I don't care about these conveyor belts. So let's see how much money this will this will rake in for us. Now, does it give us a sell point on the map here? Barn sawmill. Oh, oh pallet selling point. Wow, pallets of soy, looking good. That's per thousand? Hmm. Right. 109 for poop. We'll see. Probably not gonna be hot, but look at that. They're pretty much on point. We got competition, and competition is the competition is the the definition of capitalism, baby. Good old American capitalism. Without competition, how can you strive for anything more? How can you want to be better? You must compete. All right, so we head on over to our pallet selling point, and all we really have to do is kind of just um, unload center, unload. If we just hit the unload button, it starts selling them right away, man. And there we go. Let's go ahead. We'll pick these up. And into the what position. And boom. Just like that. When I move, you move. Just like that. And it takes anything, all kinds of pallets. Um, but yeah. So if you don't want to have a biogas plant, or if you don't feel like uh, hooking everything up and hauling it on over, you have another option. Now, there are many other things you can do with this uh, this uh, pallet creator. This is just one. Because it's the easiest one I can think of. Considering we have so much done. Now, an interesting thing would see if this could actually drop into, say, like a... I don't know. Like a... Greenhouse. Something like that. If you can just kind of pop this in and it'll load it up. Because if this is 4,000... Then this will load up just one big large pallet of uh, poop into the green because the the greeneries greenhouses take about 4k poop. Awesome. Not a whole lot of money, but it's really about the principle of it all. It's really about the principality. It's the principality. It's the principality of it all, Smokey. What's up, big worm? What's up, big perm? I mean, big worm. Smokey, I know you're not smoking up all my stuff. Ah. But folks, that's going to be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. It helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. 
Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Farm Simulator 2017, baby. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Next time.